Hello, and welcome back to the Instructional Design Network. I'm your host, Dr. Chris Deason. In this episode, I will demonstrate how to extract YouTube videos for ar archiving on your computer. One can then share this content in their classroom or training facilities by playing the archive videos on a free flash video player, such as Adobe Media Player or Wimpy Desktop FLV Player. Michael Wesch, the guru of Web 2.0, says that YouTube is a powerhouse of free instructional content. However, many school districts and businesses block access to YouTube for fear of students or employees exploring inappropriate material. These fears are valid and well-founded. However, YouTube plays a significant role in free educational content distribution that cannot be discounted. Corporate trainers, higher education faculty, and K-12 teachers can use these media for teaching and learning purposes. First, we will need to open Safari or Firefox. Next, locate your preferences. Choose to default download to the desktop. Let's do this now and I'll show you how. I'm going to use Firefox first to set where things will download. Open Firefox, go to Firefox, Go to Preferences. On the main tab, you'll see Downloads. And it says Show the Downloads window when downloading a file. Save Files to. Choose Change this to Desktop. That way, everything that we download will go to the desktop and you won't have to go and search for it. Uh, it's, this is very similar with Safari. So let's take a look at Safari. To change where your files will default download, go to Safari, click Preferences, and on the General tab, it says Save Downloaded Files to. Make sure you choose Desktop. Now, what I need you to do is to download Adobe Media Player or the Wimpy Desktop FLV Player. You will need an FLV Player to play Flash Video Files. So even if you did download a YouTube video, you would, know, you would not be able to play these files without an FLV Player. Adobe Media, Adobe Media Player can be found at www.adobe.com forward slash products, forward slash media player, forward slash. Of course, URLs like this can change, so it's better just to be able to Google Adobe Media Player and go find the site. At this point, Adobe Media Player site looks like this. It's on the Adobe website. You'll see a bunch of advertisements. Um, it'll say get Adobe Media Player here, and you'll click on that, download and install it. Or you can use the Wimpy Desktop FLV Player. You can find this at www.wimpyplayer.com. And again, this plays on um, the Wimpy Desktop FLV Player will run on Windows or Macs. Now once that's done and you have an FLV Player downloaded to your computer, you're now ready to archive some YouTube videos so you can play them back on your desktop. To accomplish this, first we need to go to YouTube. We will search and find a video. We will locate the URL. We will copy this URL and then paste it into the TechCrunch video extractor. All FLV videos will be named Get Video. You will right click on the Get Video file, click Get Information, revise the Get Video file name to something descriptive. Revise your file extension to FLV, and now you will be able to open this file with the Adobe Media Player or Wimpy. So let's go this, through these steps now. First, let's go to YouTube. I've located a video that I uh, want, and this is called Twitter in Plain English. It's a nice uh, Twitter tutorial I found on YouTube. So I will come down here to this box down here, and you'll see it says URL. So click in there, right click, and copy that. 
Now you will go to the TechCrunch website. This is www.techcrunch.com forward slash get dash YouTube dash movie forward slash. Now you will paste the URL into this text box. And now click get video. I'm going to choose to save the file. It's going to automatically default to my desktop since I've told all files to default download there with both browsers. This video is 5.7 megabytes, so it's taking a little bit to download. And I'm on a pretty uh, fast connection. All videos will be different. Some will be um, small and some large. Let me wait for this to fully download. Then we'll go to my desktop and take a look at what we're going to do with that file. All right, the video is downloaded. I'm going to close this. I'm going to minimize my browser so I can see my desktop and find it. All videos downloaded in this way will always be named Get Video. We will need to change this. To do this, you will need to right click on the downloaded file and then click Get Information. Here you will see a text box, text box where you can put the name of the file and the extension. This is where we're going to change the name of this. I'm going to name this Twitter Tutorial. .flv. You're going to need to change the file extension to .flv so the computer, so uh, so the FLV player will know that this is a flash video file. So now we've changed the name and change the file extension to .flv. Notice when I did this, now the file on my desktop is an icon that represents the Adobe Media Player. And now if I double click on this, my tutorial will now open in Adobe Media Player, which is my default uh, FLV player. So. What are you doing? It's one of the first questions we yeah, often ask we friends go. and family. I've now downloaded Even a if the answer is just mowing so the lawn on or cooking drive. dinner, it's interesting to us. It makes us feel connected and a part of each other's lives. To play these full screen, Unfortunately, you can go here. most of our day-to-day -day -day lives are hidden Click. from people that care. Of course, we have email and blogs and phones to keep us connected, but you wouldn't send an email to a friend to tell them you're having coffee. That's it. Thank you for tuning in to the Instructional Design Network, and I hope you will find many educational videos to share with your trainees or students. Bye for now.